Emma was born on the 12th and her promo was the 13th. So we're still in the hospital. I kissed Kathy goodbye and I remember it was just like a surreal thing because I'm like, this might be the start of a really crazy life. Right. And I kiss her, I say, I'll be back. And Maybe. I walk down the hill to start selling beer in the craft beer industry and my first kid's born. That's awesome. And that was on March 13th here at Flanagan's. I remember the investors were here. I think I was here before you, and you showed up, and you know <laughs> it was great. Because I remember a lot of you know a lot of pats on the backs and congratulations. Uh -huh. And but I remember back then, you know, we're, we were all clean cut. <laughs> I think we all, we were all wearing our founder shirts that were well <laughs> nicely embroidered. We were the underdogs. You know, we we were we we scraped together the money. We had investors. We had another brewery across town, and it was a race to kind of. Who's See who could open the doors open first. first. Enters okay. Ambleside. So and we that call was it a hell of a fucking so experience. <laughs> Ambleside was in Minneapolis. Our it supplier did. told us about it and said that it's the same brew house, same right. bottling line, same bottle, yeah. except they had open top fermenters, which may have caused a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so the whole idea is that we're going to contract brew, but it wasn't your typical contract brew. It wasn't that we were sending our recipe and they would make it and package it and send it to us. We right. actually drove over there. After working the 18-hour, remember the the 18-hour packaging run when we couldn't afford. There's three of us, and we couldn't let the the line stop. We're <laughs> literally turning around and, and peeing in their trough drains <laughs> while we're running the line. We're just gross after working so many hours, and you smell. And then we hook up the inch and a half hose up to a ladder yeah, and connect it to the hot liquor tank and just open up that <clears> valve. <throat> <laughs> best, still the best shower I've ever taken in my entire life. And the ironic thing is the craziest thing of the whole deal is, you know, um, you and I, great friends, starting off with this adventure. My first child is born. We go through this whole process at Ambleside, trying to get our first product out. We got guns to our head. And about two weeks later, we start realizing that all that shit we made at Ambleside <laughs> is starting to taste like <laughs> apple cider. <laughs> and it's going south. And to this date, it's the only recall Founders has ever had. We had to yeah. recall the whole, the whole fucking batch. batch. <laughs> Jesus. So think about the irony. 20 years later, our very first batch out of the box that we launched here at Flanagan's was recalled. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the whole damn thing. <laughs>